Greetings. I am Madhu Agarwal from India, and I am going to talk today about the new kid on the block in the field of endourology, and that is addition of suction to the endourological procedures. Now we all know that in the conventional PCNL, the biggest cause of high morbidity has been the track size. And this real realization brought in a reduction in uh, the track size by the use of minimally invasive PCNL, which has now become the standard of care in many endourology centers uh, using uh, the mini perk or ultra mini perk in many places. Now, with the advent of minimally invasive PCNL, a new concern has come to the fore, uh, which is the intrarenal pressure. Now, the vacuum cleaner effect, which helps evacuation of fragments in uh, mini PCNL, also requires higher intrarenal pressures. And this leads to uh, pilovenous backflow and can result in sepsis and renal damage. And this requires careful monitoring of the intrarenal pressures and keeping the intrarenal pressures under control. Now, addition of suction helps in keeping intrarenal pressures low. And one of the early attempts are described by Professor Nigele from Germany in collaboration with stores involved the use of suction through the ureteric catheter. However, a more efficient way of uh, using suction is through the excess sheath, which was pioneered by uh, Professor Zeng from Gonzhou, China, uh, using the uh, converting the implant sheath into a closed drainage system and attaching suction to the sheet. Now, this helps in keeping the intrarenal pressures low and sucks out the fragments very efficiently. Dr. Zeng did pioneering work in this field and with international collaboration has done a lot to popularize uh, this suction sheet, which as uh, a clear Petra sheet has now become immensely popular worldwide. Now, many studies have been published attesting to the safety and efficacy of this suction mechanism. And the most important feature of this uh, suction sheath, as opposed to uh, the conventional open-ended amplage sheet, is that use of suction allows keeping intrarenal pressures under control and below the threshold of pilovenous backflow. Even in presence of infection, this feature helps in uh, achieving uh, uh, clearance of infection as well as stone, uh, even in a single sitting, and uh, the, the safety margin is significantly improved. Uh, around the same time when Dr. Zeng developed this sheet in China. We in India were working on a similar design uh, of a low cost reusable uh, suction sheet called the Super Perk, uh, which accepts a mini nephroscope of any design. And it works on a very simple principle. Uh, the irrigation inflow goes through the nephroscope, and the suction is connected to the outflow. Um, attached to the uh, excess sheet, uh, which is attached to a suction bottle. And this mechanism works very efficiently and we use a multi-hole ureteric catheter for retrograde irrigation as well to assist uh, the uh, irrigation mechanism. And as you can see in this video, this augmented vacuum cleaner effect allows not only the dust, but also even the larger fragments to be sucked out very efficiently, even against gravity, very quickly 
and very fast. So uh, complete clearance can be achieved uh, rapidly and uh, efficiently. Suction can be applied with other energy sources besides the laser, which is most commonly employed, uh, with ultrasonic and pneumatic lithotripsy as well. And the trilogy from EMS has actually combined all three, the pneumatic, the ultrasonic with suction to create a very efficient mechanism for stone clearance in percutaneous surgery. Uh, this combination uh, reduces the procedure time and improves clearance uh, as compared to the conventional uh, intracorporeal lithotripsy devices. It works in mini PCNL as well as conventional PCNL and due to the large probe size and the wide channel, the uh, fragmentation and clearance is much faster and there is less risk of retropulsion. Um, in in vitro as well as in vivo studies, uh, Trilogy has been shown to be efficient um, and uh, fast in achieving stone-free rates as well as reducing the complication rates. A similar device from Olympus called Shock Pulse combines the ultrasonic and pneumatic uh, lithotripsy with suction and with a wide bore uh, uh, probe channel. This works very efficiently again to achieve stone clearance. And as you can see in this short video clip, this stone, even large stones can be fragmented with ease uh, with the combination and the dust as well as the fragments can be sucked out without the need for any grasping device or baskets and to achieve complete stone clearance uh, rapidly and efficiently. Going a step beyond, suction has been used now in flexible urotroscopy as well. Uh, applying suction to the excess sheath of flexible urotroscopy provides similar benefit of keeping the infrarenal pressure low and reduces the complication rate. In flexible urotroscopy, as we all understand, intrarenal pressures are even greater concern. And uh, uh, there are studies which have shown uh, the benefit of uh, using suction excess sheath in ureteric, uh, ureteroscopy uh, in reducing infectious complication, reducing the operating time, and achieving higher stone-free rates. So there are many studies in recent years attesting to the safety and efficacy of addition of suction to the conventional endourological surgery for stone disease. So here's one study from China, which has confirmed that higher stone free rates and lower complication, especially infectious complications, can be achieved using suction mini PCNL as compared to the traditional mini PCNL. Another study from Europe shows similar results of better stone clearance and lower complication rates, and most importantly, demonstrates intrarenal pressures which remain within acceptable limits during the entire procedure, keeping the safety margins high. Review articles 
on this subject have again attested to the benefits of use of suction in conventional PCNL, mini PCNL, as well as ureteroscopy uh, in uh, improving stone free rates as well as in reduction of complication rates. And going forward, one can expect that in future, more and more centers and more and more people will learn to use um, suction, add suction to their armamentarium for the benefit of um, uh, their results and for uh, improving the safety and efficacy, lower complication rates, higher cost effectiveness. To summarize, suction on one hand has no demonstrable disadvantage and on the other hand has multiple benefits in endourological procedures. It reduce, reduces the intraadrenal pressure and thus the pilovenous reflux which is responsible for sepsis, renal injury. There is clearer field while fragmentation, which helps in reducing the operating time. The vacuum cleaner effect gets better. The retropulsion and stone migration is less. Fragmented, fragment retrieval is better, resulting in improved stone free rates. And thus, the overall uh, patient outcomes as well as uh, uh, the safety margins are better, whereas the complication rates are lower. So it's a win-win situation for everyone, the patient, as well as the operating team. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. Thank you.